I am Omega, and I'm always bringing that truth. You know how I do. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share, and comment. Join the fam. I received an inbox today, and it was asking me, how do I know if the spells or rituals are working? So that is what we are going to talk about today. How do we know our spells or rituals are working? And then also, how do we position ourselves to understand how spirit moves? Ashe? So the first thing is that you want to pay attention to your words if you're doing your own workings and pay attention to what you're asking for. What exactly did you ask for? Okay. If you ask for what you got, say you want a certain amount of money, say I want $500 so I can pay the rent. If you get the money, it worked. If it didn't, you need to reevaluate. Okay. And these are, this is for those who are doing their own workings or if you participated in the group ritual I'll also get to some ways that you can understand if these things are working if you haven't done the work yourself Ashe 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 all right so um, you have to understand that there are gonna be several different reasons why your magic may not be showing like it's working or whatnot it could be unclear intentions it could just be bad wording like you're not wording it properly because remember words are spells Ashe. And then it also could be um, that your targeting is off, like what you're aiming for is off. So make sure that you're aiming for something um, that's obtainable, definitely, okay? So you want to uh, focus on your intent. And you don't want to ask the spirit for money, like if your heart desires is love. So you want to make sure whatever you're asking for is something that you're really desiring at this moment or something that you're wanting to see into fruition at this point and make sure that it's what you really desire like if you don't really want it it's not really going to come forth towards you okay because the universe does know the um you know the aspects of your soul and what you're asking okay and then also you're going to need to understand that some work is going to take longer than other works okay so magic is not always instantaneous i know a lot of people are looking for that movie theater magic uh, you know, where there's sparks and there's fireworks and the fairy godmother appears. And in some cases, special cases, those things can't actually happen. But for people who are just getting into this and they haven't fully tapped into their power, um, the magic is going to be, in fact, most like a, a seed that you've planted into the ground. You're not going to plant a seed and then wake up the next day to a fully grown crop. It may appear as if nothing is happening, but underneath the soil, the root has begun to sprout. All right. So um, one of the things you want to do to be able to position yourself is to don't speak about the works that you have done or that you're doing. And if you are going to speak about the work that you're doing, you don't want to speak about the work that you're doing until the work is completed. Like you did something, you've got the results, they're right in front of you, they're tangible, you can touch the results if it was something that you were asking for that was tangible. And then you speak on the work if you would like, but it's not necessary to speak on it while you're doing it. And the reason why you don't want to speak on it while you're doing it, because you're going to have the doubt of others, people who do not believe. You're going to have people that come in and, and say, you're crazy why are you doing this this isn't going to work this isn't logical but when you're dealing with things of a spiritual uh realm then of course it's not going to be logical to everyone what you're doing okay um then you want to make sure that you keep records you can keep a diary of the things that you are asking spirit when i was younger and i was a christian i would write my prayers and i would go back and i would read them and i would highlight the things that had came to fruition during those times that i would pray and then I would flip through the book as if I was doing my book Omancy and I can just see all the parts of the pages that were glowing yellow. And that's how I know that the spirit was moving on my behalf because I had a record of this, these things taking place in my reality, okay? All right, and then you need to try to understand or learn how to understand the spirit moves so you'll be able to see the signs and the subtleness of spirit. You need to understand that spirit is in everything and everyone. And if you're not paying attention, uh, then you'll miss the signs. You'll say, well, I asked Papa Legba for this, or I summoned Papa Legba, but I didn't see him. He didn't respond. But when you were leaving the crossroads, you seen an old man with a dog limping across the street with a hat on in red and black. And you completely dismissed that as a sign, but that was spirit saying, okay, I seen that you just went at the crossroads. We see that you made your offerings and we accept. And if you're not paying attention, then you will miss these subtle signs 
the spirit gives, it's always right in front of your face, the signs that you're looking for, um, that this is working. And sometimes it's not always a big result, like, boom, this is exactly what I asked for. But if you were doing like, say, uh, love work, for instance, and you were wanting to get married and then all of a sudden your lover comes more, becomes more romantic with you, but you're not married yet there's baby steps like that seed. Okay. So it may start off as this person being romantic. It may start off as this person being more providing, and then it, it will end up as this person proposing. Don't just expect this person to wake up the next day and then propose to your ass because unless they were already intending to do so in that case, if you would have done the work and they were already intending to do so, then boom, there's the ring, you know, but every situation and every circumstance is also different. So pay attention to the signs and the subtleness of spirit. Okay. And then again, you want to make sure that you remember that magic is about relationship it's about relationship with energies the energy of these ancestors the angels the guys the energy of your ashe your personal energy the energy of if you're working with nature the birds the bees the trees everything okay so it's all about energy also doubting if you doubt it only takes a mustard seed of faith to move a mountain so how much will it take to you know keep it there understand that you know so if you're doubting in your mind after you've asked the spirits of something because you cannot see the roots sprouting underneath in the darkness, then you could be killing the seed, period. You're just automatically, instantly killing the manifestation because in your mind, you're like, oh, I didn't see anything yet, or I don't, I don't see this working or whatnot. You have to have faith and you have to have trust and you have to have the fruits of the spirit. So I think we'll speak about the fruits of the spirit here soon, um, but this is going to be my short video on how you know if your magic or your spiritual workings or your ritualistic beliefs or whatnot are are working for you it's all going to play in together in divine timing and divine connections and divine signs from the spirit okay so keep your eyes open watch your 12 your 3 your 6 and your 9 as pastor willie williams would say all right i am omega and i am out this bitch i say